Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia quick tip here. Uh, this is my last picture and I got a lot of questions how I did this sculpture here. And it's, I want to show you how this works, it's quite easy. And yeah, I don't think I have to show how it, uh, to make a room that's just some cubes and planes and nothing else. Uh, yes, so uh, let's go and uh, let's start, yes. So first we go to the content browser, under, we will find under sculpture, go up here, under sculpting, base mesh is this female bus, just double click it. So I take it out of here and delete this. And the next thing is just take a tracer, MoGraph tracer, yeah. And here in the trace link, I drag the mesh into. I hide the mesh so we can see what's going on. And here are the trace path, I go to connect all objects. And we have something like this. So, but just to see something, because we can't uh, render this. If you render it, we see nothing, of course. So let's make a sweep nerves out of this tracer. So we take a profile spline. So I take this end side here. Let's say with 12 sides and a radius uh, from about 0.5. Then select the inside and alt click on the sweep nerves and put the tracer under this uh, profile spline that we get something like this. First what I see is the inside radius is too big, so let's make here 0.2 or 0.1. Yeah, 0.1 is okay. We get something like this now. And I want my spline here in the tracer go from linear to B spline and intermediate points to adaptive and we get something like this here and an angle of about 20 yeah that's okay if we want it more smooth so we can make an angle of 10 it's okay But this looks not really uh, dense. This mesh, I want it. I want it. Uh, it's too boring. <laughs> it's not enough uh, splines here. So just go to the mesh here, and let's deactivate the sweep for the moment. Mesh and activate the mesh. Go into polygon mode, and just right click and subdivide it. Okay, and I subdivide it again. And now I do the same with the tracer, but this could be, uh, this could need a, a little time, so let's hide this for a moment and go back to the sweep. Okay. And this looks now like it no, no it needs a little to render and something else and this is this exactly what i did in my picture the same exactly the same uh, subdivisions and everything else and uh, if it does not uh, work good in the in the viewport or as we see here some mistakes here just try here in, in, in the spline things. I go to close spline first and just try another uh, interpolation. You see, with natural, it looks much better. Okay, that's it. Maybe make it here 0.5, and now it should look like my in my picture it needs a little to render because yeah that's it so you get this 
And if it's uh, not fast enough in the viewport or something else, just take your sweep knobs here and uh, make it editable. Uh, go and right click and current state to object. Now you have a sweep here, you can hide this sweep, we don't need it anymore for this. And you have just one object with this spline and now it works much faster in the viewport. Okay, that's it, that's my tip. And uh, yes, uh, in, in A, for, so we see it better. Well, looks nice. Okay, that's the, the uh, quick tip here. And yeah, the next tutorial will come this weekend. And yo, <laughs> uh, maybe I, I record it today, we will see. And yeah, that's it for the moment. So have a nice day. Uh, you have a Friday, yeah, of course you have a nice day, it's Friday. <laughs> and we will see us hopefully in the next tutorial. Bye bye, tschüss und baba.